It is 7 o'clock. This is Bob Steele. In the land of the three. Good evening. This is Dick Bertel. Gail King, Eyewitness News. Good evening. I'm Denise DeSenza. I'm Dennis House. Thanks for joining us. Sadly, over the years, many pieces of film and videotape in our vast archives here at Channel 3 have been lost, among them a good chunk of 1968. And 50 years ago this week, the nation was in shock and mourning over the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. And I wish we had some old film to show you of how people reacted here in Hartford, but unfortunately, I just can't find any there. But there was plenty of reaction, both violent and otherwise, and we have a little bit to show you courtesy of the Hartford Current. These photographs from the Hartford Current show the aftermath of the assassination in Hartford. This market in the North End was looted and vandalized. Another store right around the corner met the same fate, along with this drugstore. Then Mayor Anusello spoke to us about the riots in an interview in 1988. Everything was quiet and then it started, the bottle throwing and all. They were saying they killed our leader, the horrible people have killed our leader. Most people were peaceful. This service took place at the Cathedral of St. Joseph, attended by students at nearby Hartford Public High School. And a memorial service was held at Mount Olive Baptist Church, where King had visited before. And thanks to our good friends at the Hartford Current for those photographs. We thank you for watching Face the State today. Have a great afternoon.